Wes, five games to go. What, what's your take in terms of how Cheltenham can turn it round? Um, I think we just need to um, stick together as we have done since the since the new manager's come in. I mean, he's brought great positivity to the team. I mean, he's got a, a style of play that's going to keep us compact and it's going it's to keep us hard to beat. It may not have showed in like the last two results, obviously, because of the penalty on Saturday and things like that. But um, uh, with five games to go, it's definitely, well, it's 15 points to play for. I mean, who's to say that we can't get all 15 points? And even if you could get, you know, sort of a decent percentage of that, that would be an improvement in terms of, you know, where the recent form has been and other teams struggling as well. I mean, on paper, one win might be enough. Yeah, exactly. Like you say, one win might be enough. I mean, Wickham have lost the last two games. They've they've picked up a few injuries and they've um, hit maybe a little little bit of a brick wall. So if we can go there Saturday and, and play like we have done the last two games, um, I think we can get a result there. The manager's been very keen to get you into as many goal-scoring positions as, as possible. I mean, how, how have you found the change of role, if you like? Um, I, I'm, it doesn't really bother me playing up front or out wide. I mean, I've, I've played up front for, for Bristol City and for, and for Wales, so playing up front's not really a new role for me, I think. Um, the manager just, just wants just wants to, to create as many chances as possible, and he thinks using me up front would be the best way to do so. And that must give you confidence? Yeah, definitely. I mean, he definitely put in... Um, Great confidence within me to obviously play up front and score the goals for us as well. And you mentioned Wickham lost their last two. I suppose it's a different type of nerves, but you know there is that probably that edginess going going through their dressing room as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I mean they've got a small squad, and their manager said at Christmas time, I think that um, that maybe they'll pay the price for having such a small squad and. I think that's that's coming true now. I mean, they've picked up a few injuries and they've lost obviously the last two games, and they need to win to obviously keep their their title hopes alive. So, I mean, for us, it's a different type of nerves. Obviously, we need to win to to obviously get us out of the bottom three. So, yeah, it's definitely a a nervous edge going into the game. And Cheltenham squad <laughs> isn't small. It's one thing you have got. You you've got the numbers. So I suppose you know in that way you can throw everything at it, can't you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we've got strengthening numbers over them, so um, obviously we've got a big squad and there's there's players that can come in and, and do a job exactly like we have been doing. And does that mean that actually you can put more into any one game because if you're not ready the next game, then, well, the manager can just simply play it someone else, but it's just about giving your all for that 90 or however long you're on for in a game. Yeah, exactly. I mean, obviously with a big squad, you can, you can really go out Saturday and give 110% and then if you're obviously then not physically ready for maybe the, the next game, then yeah, having a big squad is, definitely helps in that sense, yeah. You've been doing your own analysis, so how's that been working out? Um, yeah, sometimes when you do your own analysis, I think you, you get a better picture of how maybe you've played. I mean, I thought I, I'd played um, a lot better than I had done on Saturday, but obviously going over the analysis and things like that, you really see the little points where you, where you can really improve your game. And what does that mean for you doing that for yourself rather than sort of someone else telling you that? I mean, do you, do you sort of believe it more? Do you, do you look at the game back any differently when you watch it? Um, yeah, well, I always get a, a copy of the game from, from Craig. Um, so I always look back over my games. I mean, um, I've never really done it in a way that the new manager is making us do it. So um, it's a bit, a bit of a new thing for me. So I'm, I'm not too sure of how to really look at it at the moment. But interesting nonetheless. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Good man. Thank you. Cheers, Wes. Where was Gary at Bristol City right at the start when you were you were there at all? Um, I think he'd he'd gone just before I'd got to Bristol City, so right. I'd never really worked under under the new manager. Now, no, did did he have a, a few people telling you what he was like from from the City squad when when he came in? Um, yeah, there was a there was a few little stories in that <laughs> of, of how he may have been. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in terms of your your performances, you've had two different strike partners in the in the last two games with Sean Harrod and Manta. Yeah. Um, I suppose Manny, the, the the more physical one, is probably the the one you you would maybe prefer playing alongside because he because he allows you to get into the into the game a bit more. Um, maybe you could put it like that. I mean, they both they're both two different styles of play. I mean, um, although uh, Matty will will. Um, or is a bit more of a battering ram and holds yeah. the play up a bit more and gets the flick-ons for me to feed off. Um, Sean is as a player that can also share the running with me, so like they're both really different different players there. Yeah. 
and having the pace of Shaq McDonald as well means that you're not the only sort yeah. of whip it in the side yeah, exactly. as well. Exactly. So. Yeah. I mean, those through balls it gives us a, another option. Obviously, instead of going down one side to me or or and things like that, it's it gives us another option to obviously play down Shaq's side as well. Yeah. Um. I think you you know you scored at Newport. You said double figures was was yeah. the aim there. Uh, well, there's still five yeah. games to go, so who's to say that that I'm, I won't make us go in every one of those games? Yeah, so you're still confident that you you can hit that. And <laughs> yeah, that, it's always good to be confident and positive. So yeah. Yeah, and you had your your, your day at Wembley the other week. What was it like to sort of <laughs> escape that, for, <laughs> escape the, the the pressure here for? for um, yeah, I mean the the day at Wembley was was a once in a lifetime um, opportunity for me. So, but obviously, I, I'm in my career. Hopefully, I will go back there and yeah. I will get to play and. And lift the cup like the lads at Bristol.